Uh, right, thanks everyone. My name is uh, Magda Balazinska. I'm from the University of Washington and I'm a database faculty. So this is all from the perspective of a database person. Uh, so as we all know, right, we're all here because managing big data is hard and we've seen in many of today's talks that a big part of the challenge is we need high performance, we need to throw all this data and, you know, get good algorithms and get answers quickly, right? And the BigQuery was a really good example. But actually, so this is important. We are doing work in this space. But in this talk, I actually want to get us thinking in a very different direction, which is that with big data and everyone having access to uh, increasingly large amounts of data, our user base is also growing. So now we have all sorts of people who are using these systems. And in the past, data management systems have been basically notoriously very hard to, uh, to use uh, because in order to actually I uh, get my answers from my data, I have to go through all these steps, right? I have to install my database management system, think of relational system, a parallel, you know, database, a Hadoop system. But hopefully this is going away because we're using the cloud, so I can just use a system in the cloud. Once I do this, uh, I still have to design my schema, right? We had this discussion in the, just the previous talk, then I have to load my data, which is also painful, and there are also sorts of projects that try to address and ease these pains, but I still claim that this is kind of a one-time challenge. Now, once I actually have my data, that's when I want to start to ask questions, execute my queries, understand the answers and iterate. And these are actually also difficult if I'm going to talk to users who are not necessarily database, uh, you know, uh, people or systems uh, experts, but are going to do to be various types of data scientists. Uh, and let me just give you two examples of projects that we have done in our group that try to address these challenges. So the first one uh, was called, um, oh, actually I forgot about this slide. So actually our key kind of, uh, uh, Key feature is that it's very actually difficult today to do big data if you're going to do by uh, if you're going to be by yourself. Typically, big data means we have lots of data and many users who are going to access this data, and we can leverage this fact to actually help people by kind of growing this shared knowledge. So now let me get to the Steam Suggest system. So here the idea was that, as we have seen actually in the BigQuery examples, uh, using a system such as SQL, some sort of SQL-like declarative language is great because that makes it easy to write queries and very simple select from where queries are pretty easy to write. But as soon as I get to using some sort of large-scale community a white uh, database, I might not know about all the tables, I might not know about more complicated constructs. Uh, so writing the SQL query can pretty quickly become uh, quite a challenge for users. What we have done is a system that looks at all the log of past queries ever executed on, uh, on the current uh, database, and we look at the query that the user is trying to articulate, and then we can quickly perform and produce context-aware recommendations. We will say, oh, I'm looking at your query. People who have queried and have started to write queries similar to yours, they actually tend to use the following user-defined function, the following domain-specific predicate, uh, the following you know, construct. And by doing so, we can really help and accelerate the query composition process in this context-aware fashion. Now, once the user actually executes the query, uh, if you think of Hadoop, I'm sure all of you, all of you have used Hadoop. Sometimes we you now throw a data set at Hadoop, um, use a certain number of instances, expect a certain performance, get a very different kind of performance. So we actually build a system for Hadoop that allows us to accumulate the log of past query executions and answer queries about the performance. Why was this job so much slower than this other job? Was it because the cluster was loaded? Did I you know, misconfigure my cluster and so on? And we actually do answer uh, these types of questions uh, for the user. And these are just two, uh, two examples. There are a lot of other, I think, interesting challenges that not only look at the performance of big data management, but also look at all these user tools. So can we help users, for example, um, uh, we have seen, you know, articulate a SQL query, execute a SQL query. Well, if I need to debug my SQL query, we have another tool that I didn't discuss that allows users to, uh, we actually generate a nice, concise sample database uh, that survives many different types of edits and makes it easier to debug queries. Uh, we have seen that people want to visualize their data. Well, can we help them visualize their data? And as they are visualizing it, can they automatically clean the data, integrate other data sets? If I'm going to use a data management system as a cloud service, uh, what should be the right interface? I don't want to think in terms of instances. Rather, I would like to say, 
So, uh, and that's actually one of the challenges, many other challenges. Thanks. <laughs>